Hello, welcome. This is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. Well, it's a chilly, windy day here in San Francisco, so I think it's a perfect day for the beach. Well, don't worry. You won't need a sweater for this trip. We are going to a virtual beach after all. It's a 3D scene created using Google's O3D. What's O3D? O3D is an open-source Java-based API for developing web-friendly 3D scenes. Google released it this week to the public. Odds are you're no stranger to 3D because you use CAD software to produce mechanical and industrial designs. But what we are talking about here is developing 3D applications that can be deployed on the web. That means for the end user, there's no need to install a software program. Just use a browser to navigate a scene like what we're doing right now. Google has provided several simple applications you can run right from your own preferred browser, whether it be Firefox or Explorer. For this case, however, you do need to install a little plugin to make this work. For instance, here's the classic game Pong, recreated using Google O3D. This opens new doors to cat viewing without cat. It's the market that is currently served by companies like Informative Graphics, known for its viewing and market program, Brava. Another company in this space, Aftercat Online, delivers viewing and markup features in a software-as-a-service method. What that means is you pay Aftercat Online a reasonable monthly fee. In return, you get to use its viewing and markup program straight from your browser. Recently, Aftercat added 3D support, powered by the open-source graphics engine Ogre. Here's Aftercat CEO Christopher Boothright. It's great to have Google out there stirring it up and getting other vendors to step up to the game. It would be nice if there was one open 3D viewing technology out there that everyone agreed on, which I think Cloud is coming close to. The problem comes with the fact that this is just another 3D plugin that you have to download and install, and if someone else doesn't have the same uh, plugin on, on the other end, it falls apart. This has been the case with pretty much all 3D Java and ActiveX attempts to pull this off. So Aftercat's answer to that is to process the visuals on the server side, then deliver everyone the same experience through a URL. Web 3D is not just for fun and games or eye candies. It's consistent with the move to democratize 3D, to make it easy and accessible so that you can share your engineering data even with people who don't own the same software, who don't know how to run a CAD system. Dasso Systems, makers of Katia software, has its own solution for that. It's called Virtools, marketed under its 3D Via brand. Here's the Versailles Palace, recreated in 3D in Virtuals. As end user, you do not need to have a 3D software, not even Virtuals. You just need a browser to view, rotate, and navigate this fully rendered 3D data. So what are your thoughts on Web 3D? I'd like to hear from you. Visit my blog and share your thoughts. You'll find the link to my blog at Desktop Engineering Magazine's homepage, www.deskeng.com. Till next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering, reporting from somewhere on a virtual beach.